Hello, today we're going to be learning how to repair the RV4 with the inline steam tool. Um, so we're going to be able to repair that without taking, taking the service down or taking it out of line. Um, so down here, you see we have an RV4. Um, the RV4 is typically going to come with a controller here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take that controller off should be able to just screw that off. And you're going to find an insert in here like this. Um, that's what we're going to be replacing, is this insert. Uh, so over here, we have our tool. Um, the first thing that you want to make sure is that this vent this can be tightened or um, loosened. You want to make sure this is down tight all the way, that way no steam can leak out when we're actually doing this. Uh, the other thing is, this is your gate valve here, your isolation valve. You want to make sure that this is straight up and down, um, so that way the tool can go all the way down and come all the way back up. Okay. So now that we got the controller off of our RV4, first thing we're going to do is thread the tool onto that connection. Okay, this can be done while the uh, this is in live steam service. Uh, obviously, you want to use the proper safety equipment. Okay, so once we have that tightly secured on there, um, make sure that this is still closed before you ever tighten this on. Um, what we're going to do is push the end down, okay? Uh, this is going to bring the tool into contact with that insert that we were looking at before. Uh, what you're going to do is take this handle, you're going to turn that, okay? And that's going to unscrew that insert. Okay. Sorry, we're coming loose here. Okay, and so that should be hooked on there. We're going to pull that out now. We're going to pull it up to the top where we had it originally. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to close this valve here. Uh, that's going to shut it off to any of the steam coming through the line. Uh, and now we're going to open up this vent. Uh, and that's going to allow that pressure to bleed off so we don't have any steam coming out. Uh, after that pressure and that water's out of there, uh, we can close that off. And what we're going to do is unscrew the top part right here. If we get it right, we should have the insert on the end like that. So we're going to take that insert, um, take it off, you're going to grab your new insert, we're going to use the same one in this case, but grab your new insert, you want to put it on there, on the hex nut, um, you want to put it back into the system, you want to screw this on. Threaded. Okay, so we screwed that on. Uh, we're gonna push that down back into the chamber a little. Um, make sure that this valve is closed again. Uh, we don't want any steam shooting out of here. We're gonna open up our insulation valve again. That's gonna bring it back to the steam line. Uh, we're gonna push that back in. We're going to push it all the way down onto the threads. Okay. And then we're going to tighten that in. Uh, so this is going to screw into the threads there. We're going to keep doing that until it's tight and we can't turn that anymore. Uh, that's when we know it's in. So we can pull this back up. 
close off our valve again. It's shutting us off to the steam. We want to bleed that off one more time. Okay. And then the tool can be removed from the RV4. And as you can see, we have that, that insert in there again. Then we would put our controller back on, and we're back in operation without ever shutting off the steam service. Okay, so that's how we would re replace an insert in our RV4 using the inline steam tool. Uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please contact Armstrong International.